Okay, admittedly, I might have gone a little crazy with the green. Yes! So, with the month of March, I thought I would do the most fake Irish thing I could do and just make everything green. <laughs> so here we are. I even got the mullets. That's right, baby. I'm calling it the mean grullet. A lot of people have me blocked. It's not the it's not it's, it's not the happiest moment. But my office is painted, so that's cool. Uh, I'm still kind of decorating. I I don't know. I like it. Let's get into this episode. St. Patrick's Day is coming up soon, so it got me thinking of well, maybe a certain topic. And then I was uh, doing a, a road trip with my best friend and we were doing a BuzzFeed like quizzes. You know, just weird stuff like, what dog breed are you from the type of food you eat? Uh, can we guess your birth month? What ice cream flavor are you? Obviously, chocolate chip mint. Mint chocolate chip, depends on who you ask. Anyways, I'm gonna see like, I. I I'm gonna see like what what your drink says about you. That's 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 the episode. I've been doing a lot of research. Been doing a lot of like what bartenders say. You know this and that. My own personal experience, and I thought I'd share it with you. So let's get into it. Also, actually, before we get into it, let me make a little little note, little little something. Never feel forced like you have to drink. I, I just want to make that like you know I don't want to make this like a like a pro drinking if you don't drink you're a loser type thing because that I feel like a lot of people do that and I and I don't want to bring that energy to this it's just like a fun thing you know uh, never feel like you should be forced to drink never especially never like drink and drive my goodness like if you're gonna drink don't be weird don't be stupid all right don't don't go too much into it you're the, the whole part of the drinking is like it's for fun all right let's chill we'll get a little wacky but don't be weird all right don't don't like be forcing somebody to drink to like throw up so i'm gonna say let's get into it but uh let's let's start off with uh, my poison of choice whiskey uh i love whiskey it was the first thing i ever drank i i just i i enjoy it it says here that whiskey drinkers are too straightforward and can be standoffish yeah, for sure. We can be very straightforward, very direct, and it it's definitely can be off-putting and seeming like a jerk a lot of times. Or sometimes we're, we're just being jerks. That's, yeah, I've been guilty of that, and I can admit it. Uh, and standoffish, if somebody's just drinking, like, a neat whiskey, uh, yeah, let them, just let them live in that corner, all right? Let them be standoffish. What are you, a psychopath? You're not even gonna make, like, put an ice cube in there? What are you, did your wife just get murdered? Like. Did your brother just go to get like what is your deal? What is your pro are you looking for a, a plot of revenge? Lighten up. Why do your drink just a little bit? Don't drink it neat. That's just psychotic behavior, in my opinion. Oh, if you're ordering a long I if you're ordering an uh, Long Island iced tea, your bartender definitely thinks you're an old soul. For sure. Like you're you're up there, baby. You're just uh very experienced. If you order anything with vodka, then you for sure have a personality. Like, you're just quirky at the core, you know? You're... Let's guess who you are. Oh, we're doing shots? Okay, the bartender thinks you're really cool, very much a party-goer, okay? Don't worry about the bouncers near you, they're just, they just want to watch you do more shots. Oh, if you're ordering, like, expensive shots, like, names you've never even heard of, the bartender thinks you are even cooler. They think you got money, for sure. Just overall, just like, very uh, above everybody else. <laughs> very smart with their money, too. If you order sweet shots, then alcohol is not for you. I think you just kind of have a, a... A lot of times, like, the sweet shots are just like, you're new at drinking and you don't really know what to order type deal. And you're like, oh, that sounds, that sounds nice. Honestly, if you're like drinking any weird sweet con concoction, like with some weird color, I'm pretty sure you're, you're just not into drinking. Like, I think you really like the idea of drinking and maybe even like the feeling of being drunk, but you don't really like actual alcohol. 
you just you just have a really big sweet tooth. If that makes sense. Oh, you're ordering rum? If you're a guy, let me tell you something. You are you are a manly man. You are total alpha and you don't have mommy issues at all. Not one bit. If you're ordering like a gin and tonic or a vodka tonic, you don't have daddy issues at all. Not one bit, I'll tell you that much. Oh, if you drink beer, uh, a lot of times bartenders think you're chill and easy to please. Uh, beer is actually easy to serve and every place has it. I, I totally agree with that. I always wish I could drink beer. I cannot drink beer. There's something about the smell and taste. I just can't do it. But I do like a lot of people that do, that drink beer. They're, they're usually pretty chill to hang out with and overall, I mean, just nice, nice people. In my opinion, that's 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 my experience. If you order tequila, you definitely have a routine schedule. Like you're very uh, very in line. You're voted most well put together. You you plan on being in this world for many decades to come. Definitely, yeah, totally. Uh, wine drinkers, my people. Uh, wine drinkers are can be very social butterflies. I I don't know. I I like them because a lot of times their filter is gone like a screen door in a tornado. They're just, I've said some crazy things with wine drunk. Wine drunk is a different, I don't, we don't need to get into wine drunk actually. Let's just talk about uh, uh, white wine drinkers, very much social butterflies, very talkative. I honestly, in my experience, when it, they are drinking, they can, I don't know, and actually in real life, I, I think they're as sweet as our alcohol. Uh, red, oh you snobbish jerks. You total snobs, and you know it. You're a little narcissistic. You like the snob title. You like that you're you're picky. You for sure have a turtleneck or two. And if you have a beret, get out of my face. That is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Uh, not to paint that stereotype, but let me get a brush. You know what I'm saying? Like, ho 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 ho! Scroll. Uh, Chardonnay? Oh, sweetie, you're, don't worry. You're, you're still young. To yeah, let me let me check your ID. Totally, I can't see your crow's feet at all. Does that mean? That's probably mean. That's probably why I drink whiskey. And uh, I think my my last one, because there, there is there is a long thing. Uh, don't order overly complicated drinks. I bartenders just know that that you're new and you're trying to impress the people around you, and it's just kind of a waste of their time. Okay, never forget a bartender can look through you easier and quicker than the therapist your mom made you see just just an fyi like they'll they'll see through that don't don't mess with them just just be simple just order if you have an order a margarita just order a margarita don't be weird like sometimes there's there's some cute little things but sometimes it's just like can i get a twist and spin and uh bop it of this it chill out <sighs> Could you tell when I was being serious or sarcastic? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if your drink matches your personality or not. Uh, does it even matter? Am I smiling right now? I have no idea. Also, there, I would love to go more into the alcoholic thing, but yeah, there, there's a lot. I don't even know about moonshine. Moonshine is very ambiguous. That's okay. That was my last one. Moonshine people are just like, that's you got some crazy blood in you, in my opinion.